Here's something you never thought of. What if Barbie married Brian Shima and they had a skate together? <laughs> How to turn this into this? Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo and I'm a wheel addict. On my last Barbie skate video, I had lots of people saying, can you turn your Impala Barbie skate that has some wheels that are not that good and that cost a lot of money into an aggressive skate? Well, it is possible. Today I'm gonna to show you how I did it. Okay, so to be able to build these, we obviously need to use one of these Barbie Impalas. And for this video, I also used a pair of Shima trees. Let me start by just saying sorry to Brian Shima. I don't think he's gonna watch this video, but in case he does, I don't think he's gonna be very stoked about this. Anyway, let's use this going to become something like that where I need to take the liner and the saw plate and then turn it into an aggressive skate. So to build that I'm going to need a drill. I need a couple of and a couple of pliers. For this video I'm using the master blade wheel. Um, when you look here, you don't see the, um, the logo because I turned it around. It's just because I was trying to avoid any other color other than pink. I even tried to avoid the black, but I don't want to paint that. But yeah, the master blade Philip Moore wheel. Okay, starting with the drill bit I bought this morning. Oh. By the way, if you're really into tools and stuff, you're probably not going to be very impressed with what I do. I'm not an expert when it comes to any of this. So I started by obviously taking the liner out, laces out, this metal piece out and now from the inside I'm using a, a drill bit that it's for metal and all I'm going to do is this. Okay. It's kind of like done that one. Check this out. Boom. Camera one just died. I have just taken this out. So basically, what I did with the other one is just I just got the thing. I just broke it. This little piece, just a bit of the mold. This is how it's injected. Let me see something. Let me see, just out of curiosity, if this one has the. Yeah, I honestly don't know if this is the same mold. It's like. 
We keep on saying that this is the same mold, but if you look at the razors, it's flat here, while the Impala is round. And then, it looks really, really similar, to be fully honest, but I don't know if it's completely the same. Especially when I take the soap plates out, I started seeing weird stuff that I didn't know. So check this out, see here, almost no space, very few space. It's kind of like divider in front and back. Here, no space. See what I'm saying? It's weird. I don't know if it's the same mold. Look at that. Either I give it space in the back or I don't. It's like when I put this soap plate here, as I said, this looks like way more square. It's just perfect. Check this out. Perfectly in the back. Here, it's just weird. So the way that I do this, or the way that I did it on the other one was trying to find the space all over. And let's start with, I would say the back one, which is going to be the two most important ones. Mark it. Oh wow, that was great. That was really great. <laughs> Cut my finger. This never happened to me. Okay. Now, one, two. We put them on the inside. Now check what happens in the front. Now I'm gonna need to go like here. <laughs> this looks so weird. I need to match these lines, see? While these lines are matched, I need to drill. Now, lines matched. That's an easy one, I hope. Okay, so final conclusions. I just came from skating and after putting these skates together and struggling to put the sole plates, I honestly don't know if the mold from the Impala is the exact same as the Razor Sculpt. As it was extremely, it like was actually really hard. It was extremely hard to to fit the sole plates compared to what I was expecting. I was expecting to be extremely easy, just like if I had a cold boot, I would put the sole plates way easier. I had to drill and all that. It was harder than I was expecting. Other than that, like I, I noticed that the sole under the, like the boot, the sole of the boot, not the sole plate, on the Impalas was more round than on the, on the Razor Skull, like the Razor Skull is way more flat. It could be because obviously it's mounted with the sole plate. It's been like that for a long time. It went through temperature changes. So that could have made that. But I really don't know if the mold of the Impalas is the same as the Razor Skull. Now, even if it's the same, I have the Impalas European 40 and I have the Razors European 42, the Shiba trees. And they are, the, they are similar size. So Impalas will run bigger. This is important for you to know. Uh, what else? Well, I noticed that the plastic really is a lot uh, softer on the Impalas. So the, the Impalas will not give you the same amount of support so it's way more flexy way more flimsy it's not the same quality plastic that you will find on the razor skull now it's also important to tell you that not all the razor skull have the exact same plastic so there are some razor skull like the shima trees that i was using they are a higher grade plastic while some of the razor skull the more affordable ones they used to be a Thin, like I, I don't know if they're thinner or just a softer plastic, but at least a lower grade plastic. 
Now, as a final conclusion, again, what I would say is don't go through the whole hustle. Like, yeah, it's cool like to mount these Impalas to get these flashy colors, but when you start mounting these flashy colors, to start with, you lose the possibility of using your cuff, unless you also gonna drill through the cuff rivets and all that stuff. That's number one. Number two, it's flashy colors, but they're gonna end up getting all messed up. So if you're gonna have messed up skates, if I were you, I would just spray paint over some cones. If you want some Barbie skates, dude, come on, just buy some fluoro yellow and spray paint over the over the shells and over the sole plates if you want, whatever. They're gonna get messy anyway, but they're also gonna get messy if it's the shell in that color. And other than that, Razor skates come with better buckles. The Impala buckles are just a joke. If you try to use them for aggressive skating, all you need is to miss one sole. I'm not one of those that breaks a lot of buckles. I missed one sole. I don't even think I missed a sole. I did a negative acid and for some reason, one skate touches the... I don't know exactly what happened. It touched somewhere. And when I look at the buckle, it was all twisted and shit. And now the biggest problem is, once again, the buckle is riveted so again don't go through the whole hustle just buy a spray paint and paint over your cults if what you want is flashy colors or just use your cults the way they come and that's it cheers and i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you're a barbie fan you love skating so you're gonna love this channel make sure to subscribe you can also ah, this camera is getting heavy if you Want to support what I do here? You can become a patron or a member of this channel. I create lots of exclusive content for patrons and members. If you don't want or if you can't, come on, just subscribe to the channel. It really helps what I'm trying to do here, which is spread the good word for inline skating. And with that being said, I'm gonna finish this video the same way as I finish every other video. And that is by reminding you to never ever forget why we all started skating with the Barbie skates, without the Barbie skates, with spray painted skates, it doesn't matter. We all started skating because it's fun. Now cheers and see you soon.